Hey Brad. Hi. It is, is time for us to take a look at Glitter Mitten Grove. What is that? Uh, it is, look, let, let's, let's stop beat around the bush here. Tell me more about this game. It's a fairy simulator. It's a town building simulator uh, with a lot of tree physics. Okay. Let's just come right out and say it. Uh -huh. The true nature of this game. Yeah. There's a lot of tree physics. Okay. You have to collect sparkles. There are fireworks. Mm. It's the follow-up to frog fractions. Aha! Now we get to the heart of the matter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's that's pretty widely known at this point. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I would say to people watching this video, if they intend to play the game, uh, a lot of the appeal of the game is based on the surprises it throws your way as yeah. you play. So uh, watching someone else play it maybe would ruin some of that surprise. But we're going to yeah. play from, from the very beginning of the well, game. Well, hey, you can be surprised watching us. That's right. So. Enjoy some of this surprise secondhand, I suppose. Surprise by proxy. Yeah, huh? That's a common affliction. Uh, so this, my understanding is this came out before the Frog Fractions was in it? Uh, yeah, this came out on like the December 13th, and then as the, the Frog Fractions ARG ended, uh, the stuff was injected into it uh, via a patch. That's, that's when the frogs hopped in. Sure, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Cherub Glade. Okay. That seems like a, I, yeah. I'm sure. You know, sounds first like, name, best name. Sounds like a fairy tale. Yeah. All right, so here we have a uh, Heather Orchard Meadow. Mm -hmm. uh, health pretty high, hunger and sleepiness S rising. Sapphire Mystery Bow, on mm -hmm. the other hand. Well, that's yeah. Uh, this is our this is our area. Uh, we've got some. Well, geez, there's not a lot of trees here. Okay. Well. Uh, Build them in the treetops, but we don't. Okay, well, maybe as this tree grows, maybe we'll uh, we'll be able to build a house in it. Okay. Eh. So there's some. Let's let's try building a house over here. Uh, this tree stuff, this this fairy town building thing. There's some stuff in here that is like pretty well thought out and yeah. interesting. Where like if you build out out on a branch that is too far over, the whole branch will break off. And you see how how light is being cast through the tree branches, like light shining on your prisms, which collects sparkles, uh, is is key. You okay. need to be able to collect the sparkles, so you have to put it somewhere where. Oh, that that might actually break off. I might have made a mistake. Here. Oh. Um, but basically, like the sun needs to the, to get to the prisms in order for sparkles to work. Otherwise, it's like, oh, well, it's in shade and, and it's useless now. Good going. Is that a collector? That's the prism? Yeah. And it, so it, it'll it'll collect uh, sparkles for us here. And then you cast spells with the sparkles that you get. So that's mana? Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Uh, and then sight orbs uh, we put up to kind of extend our uh, vision. Is there like a weight limit per tree? Is it just kind of? I think it's kind of per branch, ah. um, and you can kind of fertil you can fertilize the trees. Uh, the seasons come into play, okay? Um, because you you kind of need to be collecting food so that the fairies have food through the winter. Um, and uh, like I, like there's there's a depth to these mechanics that I think is interesting, uh, kind of on its own. But. This isn't the real depth of the game. Yeah, I'm sitting here wondering exactly what to ask about this. Because, <clears throat> yeah, obviously this is not the main event. No, no, it's not. Um, but, you I, know, it kind of sets up some goofs here with the, the little, little tooltip yeah. character kind of popping out and stuff like that. You know, some some things here that you can kind of return to and, and do interesting things with. I mean, uh, I, guess, I guess the real question worth asking is kind of, like, what's the path through this to the... The real game. Well, the path through this is or, that you, or how likely are you to find it? You know, how, how much time could you spend with this before you get to the other thing? So the the size. I mean, if you, the size of the world is not large. I'm yeah. kind of scrolling over as far as I can. Okay, so this here. is kind of, this is the whole game. Uh, and well, there's also down. Ah. Um, what's down? What's down is the actual okay. question. Uh, I remember what happened last time you went yeah. down, or potentially up, as I understand it. Oh. Uh, there, you you could theoretically go up as well. There are multiple paths. Yeah. To, uh, to bug so, wars. fireworks. Uh, let's spend some of our sparkles okay. on. Uh, how about we'll just go boom. We'll just uh, use this pattern, this pattern, and this per pattern, and we'll just shoot straight down from here and hope for the best. Uh, so you kind of plant it here, and then boom. 
Oh wait, it doesn't go through the bricks. I really just fucked up and wasted a bunch of sparkles. Or the the stone the the stone here kind of well. Mm. We've pay the price in resources. Wait, aren't there more right there? I'm gonna go through those. Oh, well, okay. Uh, all right. All right. So now we can we can put a torch down here. I probably played this for about an hour and a half before getting past this part. Okay. And you didn't. You did, at that point you had no idea how to get to the thing. Right. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the 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 path I took was eventually. I, I spent a lot of time here and then realized like, oh, I bet it's totally down. Like eventually it kind of says like, who knows what lurks underneath. <laughs> uh. Sure. And you know, this treasure chest in here that'll have more resources and stuff like that in it. Uh, the fairies will collect stuff and, uh, you know, you can kind of build and fertilize and uh, you can chop wood off here, you know, like higher up on the tree to kind of make sure that your sun paths are uh, what they need to be. Uh, you know, you, you, it's a place to store more crystals and then, the, what do you spend? What do you, yeah, okay, use crystals to get prisms, which gets you more sparkles, which lets you cast more spells, you know, that, that sort of stuff. Um, so I could I could just like hot path like dig deep fast, uh, or we could just enter a code. So what what happens is you eventually find a door. Okay. And then you click on that door. Oh no! Did you just straight up type in the cheat code? I did. Ah! Oh hey! And so this is what happens when you find that door. And so this is what happens when you click on that door. Okay. Hmm. Fraud ahead. Someone left a message on the ground here. Wait. For us. That's a player message? Yes. Really? Yes. Like straight up Dark Souls? Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, th this is kind of the... the a, a lot of this game is is found here in this in this basic format. Is this like a hub? Yeah. This is, oh, kind of, wow. this is an open world... Um, huh. That you explore around. Okay. Uh, there are gems to collect or not collect. Hmm. Are you suggesting that things might change whether you pick them up or not? Well, it, it's you know like if you if I'll put it this way, if you are full of gems and there's gems in your way, you can't collect more gems. Ah. Ever? Uh, until you deal with you having all those gems. Okay. Surely there's a way to offload. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It, it's okay. it's eventually super not a problem, ah. and some puzzles around it are. Are pretty good. Um, I, I have a question. Mm. Why, why would you punch yourself? Uh, because it's it's basically like die and return to the start of that room, ah. like where you entered that room. It's okay. kind of a, a quick reset. Um, all right, Wait, another message here. All right. Have you tried leaving messages? Like, uh, so you eventually do get an object that you can use to leave messages, but I don't it? I don't currently have it. Okay, is it the same Dark Souls kind of thing of like pre-made yeah. phrases that it you is, stitch it together? Is totally. Yes, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Uh, okay, we have a, here's the character creator. Uh, we can pick one of these characters. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a Mass Effect 2 save oh. uh, here. I mean, we could just get one real quick if you want. That game just went free, actually, so yeah. you could just go download it real fast and make one. Oh, yeah, I guess I, I mean, I guess I could do that, yeah. Ah. Uh, I think it's free on Origin? I mean, I'm just gonna... Oh, hey, yeah, I'm also that. go to this site full of there's, Mass Effect 2 saves. There's also this. Uh, I don't know if I've ever said it before, but this is how I ended up eventually playing Mass Effect 3. Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Long, long ridiculous odyssey. Uh, okay, so that's, where where did that end up? Let's just move that to our desktop here. I got I got to save as close to where I was as possible and then just edited. I got an editor where I edited every decision that I could remember to what I had decided. Mm -hmm. Kind of rebuilt my save. Uh, so it, it'll pull your name from the save. It'll pull the correct name yes. from the save, and so okay. apparently it pulls some stuff at random from the save, and yeah. that it's that may, may be the last thing I've, the the one thing I have not done yet. Uh, anyway, it's too dangerous to let you pass without a sword. We're just we're just gonna go. Oh, he's not actually gonna stop you. No. Just some friendly advice. Yeah. All right. Uh, here's an item here that we want to collect. It's a bracket. It's a pair of autocorrect skates. Oh, okay. I wasn't quite getting that from the 
ASCII representation. Well, okay. yeah. Uh, so the skates make it so when I hit a wall, I keep moving. So it's actually a lot just faster to huh. get around. Okay. Uh, I don't remember actually what the right way to go right off the bat is. Hmm. Is this? I mean, I assume if this is kind of the hub, this area is pretty damn big. Uh, yeah, it's it's maybe like uh, five screens by four screens or ah, something like that. Okay. Ah, wait, did that actually not work before? No, it it totally does. It almost. Okay. I, I wonder if that got put in there as a way to say, hey, by the way, the, the game has gamepad support, yeah. which I. Uh, I already assumed that from the uh, the LB plus RB. Yeah, on the yeah. Side. Um, I I would really recommend that people play it with a gamepad. Really. Uh, uh, the whole thing? There's some some weapon stuff later on that, like, if you are trying to play it without one, uh, is, is a little harder to deal with than it should be. Huh. Sewer blimp. Don't go in there. Or do. I don't know. Uh, that's interesting, because uh, the what I remember the previous game, there were definitely some keyboard-type segments. Yeah. Some typing and stuff that you had to do. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's really goofy that... Like notifications styled, yeah, for glitter mitten grove yeah. pop up on top of this yeah, thing. Yeah, it's that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I can even. Okay, I got. Okay, they... go 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 go. All right, all right, we got a gray key. Now we're gonna find a gray door. Oh wait. Okay, uh -oh. we want to lure them up here, okay. die, and then we can get past them. Huh. These guys only move when you move. Okay. So. Oh, just, this is super hot, basically. Yeah. And I found another item down here. And, and I think that might be all I can do here until I come <coughs> back with a sword. I don't remember for sure. Seems like a lot of trial and error in this. Or just, I mean, a lot of this seems really arcane. Like you just have to poke around at it a lot. To yeah, that, out that's, what you're doing. There's, there's definitely like an element of... of Wandering around this open world and, and being lost. Uh, all right, well, we got that key. Oh, that means, okay. We can, we can push this and then go down to this area and get the candle. I, well, let's get. Okay, yeah. I wasn't expecting the music, but I definitely recognize the format of this item room. Uh, yeah, but also having the music then just go a couple of <laughs> notes <laughs> couple longer, notes, I think, right. is a super funny thing yeah. to do. Yeah. Okay, uh, so now I've got a candle. Uh, the candle is uh, useful in, in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, obviously we can light up rooms. Um, is that like limited use? No. Okay. Uh, Cannot open skeletons nearby. Mm, not skeletons. All right, so we need to get around this guy. Collect another item here. Whoa. Oh, is that a bomb? Yeah. Whoa. What a bomb. Yeah, it's a cool effect. Trying to blow that guy up? Yeah, I oh. okay, okay, got him. Out of here. All right, and there's still that one over there, way over there. Do you have to kill all of them? Yeah, uh, yeah. That door is. Oh, jeez. Ah. Uh, that door over there won't open. Oh, I see. Until uh, all of the skeletons are dead. That makes sense. No. Oh, it's wrong. fine. I just go back here. You know, it's not. <laughs> Uh, so the, the other thing is when you have the candle, you can burn gems. Mm. Uh, so you no longer have to pick them up. Um, though there are cases where you might want to pick them up. Alright, so we need to blow this guy up. Oh, well. Okay. Whoa. 
have one head left. All right. Um, so these things with arrows on them, obviously you can kind of only move them in the direction of the arrows. So they, you know, kind of have some puzzles around that stuff. Ah. And this arrow here uh, will automatically move when it is unblocked. So boom, it'll do that. There's a lot to figure out in this. Yeah. And so that has made it so I can now get... Oh. How long did it, would you say, it took you to figure all this stuff out your first time? I, pr I probably played for six or seven hours. Wow. Uh, to finish the game. Oh, for the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's not too bad. All right, so we got another key. Uh, let's just head back. Um, so I think that's all we can do here now. And we can't get past those shrubs. Under shrubs. So we'll head out. It's the worst kind of shrub. Yeah. Beach shrubs. All right, so can I do anything? Uh, I guess I could. It's almost like a little Dark Soulsy kind of thing of opening up that shortcut. Ah. Now I can get back here really oh, wow. quickly. Okay. Um, let's go up. Still no sword though. Yeah, no sword. Let's head in this house here. All right. Uh, well, there's a bunch of gems. Just burn those. We don't have the green key, uh, but you can do this, and we can get the orange soapstone. And now that we have that, we can leave messages. Aha. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Yep. Be wary of. Tentacle, but hmm. Good luck. need championship belt. Some sage advice. Yeah. Oops. Well, I got got a gem there. I don't want to get too far ahead of you here. Uh huh. But well. Answer however you feel appropriate, but how much of this game is this? Uh, I mean, this is the hub world, but like it definitely offshoots into things that are that don't look like this okay. and don't behave like this. Okay. Uh, and so, the, the previous thing was like a big mix of it was like a grab bag of all kinds of different stuff. And so this this is definitely still that. Okay. Uh, I just don't remember where the first bit is. So, but I remember enough of like like I, it's kind of non-linear in a way. Mm. Like, I remember going through this area without the candle and, like, going, wait, I can't, I'm, I'm full on gems and I don't know what to do now. Ah. Um, and, and really fumbling around through some of these areas. Okay, so you're probably going to, like, stumble on some of the, well. I'll well, stumble on things in, in probably a different order than the, I saw them the yeah, first the, time. The stumble on the whatever it is that you're going to stumble on. Yeah. Okay, so now we can push these in here and kind of open up these pathways. Uh... That's, yeah, that's a late, I think it's the cyan key. Uh, we can go around here and get that. Uh-huh. Uh All right, so here, now, uh, in this area, there's gravity. I can jump. Hmm. And now I've got this green key. Uh, but if you think about it, okay, so, so if you look at what's up there, that's a bunch of green doors there on that platform on the left. And so now that I have the green key, as soon as I touch those doors, they will disappear. Huh. So, and then above that is a walkway made of gems. So what I need to do to get up there is to not have the green key, which is positioned in such a way that you can't really get into this room without collecting a green key. And then I need to be full of gems so that I can stand on those gems ah. to get to that portal. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, let's, let's move on, uh, from this area, because I, oh wait, I can go 
this way and go back faster. Um, and then what's over here? It's this stuff. Okay. Well, I can't get through. That's, there's an object up there, but I can't get through those trees because uh, I don't have a way to get through the trees. So we'll, we'll hold off on that for now. He seems very firm about this. Yeah, but also does not stop me from just moving forward. He wants you to get that sword. I think this, yeah, I mean, I think, honestly, the first sword's over here. Ah, these gorillas. Aha. Yeah, so here's here's a sword. Um, whoops, whoops, whoops. But I need to, I can't, yeah. Oh, oh no, 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 it, it doesn't, it does not kill the gorillas, so. Ugh. Damn it. Well, I guess actually I could, I could probably go in here too, right? I mean, oh God. <laughs> Okay, so as soon as I move this, that'll rock it down. Uh, as soon as I move this, that'll go... Okay, well, geez. Okay, all right, we're in. And now we've got a red key. Uh, but I also think we're trapped. Oh, no, okay. Centipede corner. Uh, I think I need to be able to kill these centipedes and able to make my way through that room. So, man, go, coming back to this game, like, so late game things happen that let you kind of get anywhere. Okay. Uh, pretty easily. And so, playing the game and then not having that stuff anymore, I am now at a loss about the order of, of things. I want to say I go up, but I think that's just the... No, I can't go through there until I get the... Okay, all right. And I could have just warped here instead of walking through here again, but... How do you ever find out what those... Like, you're picking up a bunch of items that are uh -huh. just, just characters. Like, how do you ever find out what those do? Uh, that, that is an important question that, oh, uh, that you, is, will, you will discover? eventually will discover. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, did you need to complete this room? Yeah, this next room here? Cause yeah, you know, no. Or, I, or I not got, this one, but the one after this. With the green key stuff. I, well, so I don't know that I can do this right now ah. because I have a green key. Um, oh, okay. And the way to get to the way to not have a green key is, I th want to say, slightly beyond us right now. Okay. So up just leads to there. Left just leads to there. Man, I. This seems dense as hell. Yeah. Seems like a lot of stuff to figure oh, out. Oh, right. I got the red key. Ah, okay. Eh, maybe not so bad. Okay, so here's a puzzle to be solved. Uh, we want to try to get these blocks up in here to push into the water so we can get that object. Mm. But also there's a portal in here too. So, which you, is... so you can walk on them? Yeah. Walk on the blocks? Okay. All right, so we'll push that up. I guess I could have, well. No. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yep. Yeah.
and now it's heading here. Okay. Ah! Here's some more of this thing. All right. Is this a clicker? It's it's more than just a clicker. Okay. So I click to add fuel, uh, okay. which raises the temperature of the toaster, causing it to rise. Hmm. Uh, I can then spend that uh, temperature to buy kindling, okay. which then starts oh the temperature boy. raising. I was wondering if this was coming. <laughs> and then I need to get it up here. I need to get it heading at oh. the right angle. We'll buy one more. That should get it. Yep, I think you're good. Okay. Oh, and then you sell, okay, yeah, you sell to bring it back down. Huh. And we sell everything to flatten it out. Yeah. What's up with that crack down there? That's just, a, I think that's just a crack. Okay. What if you, what if you rammed it and something happened? Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. That's probably a way to think in some of this stuff, but I don't know that that specifically is something. Um, so, in a lot of these, so uh, you'll encounter games, departures yeah. from text world, mm -hmm. and okay, how do I get it to go down? I don't remember. Like, like this, like this fucking sword that I fucking desperately need. Oh, oh, that's right. If I buy stuff, it drops. What? Because you, you're spending temperature to buy. Oh, right, right, right. All right, we got the sword. It's fine. So is that all that matters? I think so. Or do you have to finish it? Well, now I have the sword. Hmm. But I wonder if I need to keep going. First, first thing is okay. Well, shit. We're gonna. Have to, no, we're definitely not gonna. We're not. We are not gonna hit mm. the angle needed yeah. to get through this. Huh. All right. Well, it won't let me out. So. Clearly, we need to play more. Yeah. Uh, so th that's that's kind of how a lot of these things will work. You will encounter uh, a departure from Text World, uh, and as a result of completing it, you will get something, or something about the world will then change that will let you access a different part of uh, the overworld. Okay. Uh, when we had uh, Jim Crawford in here and we're talking to him about it, he kind of likened it to like almost like a Legend of Zelda type situation where these are kind of the dungeons of the game. Okay. All right, we need to. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh. Seems difficult. It. This this took me a while. Yeah, I can see <laughs> oh, that. Oh shit! Oh wow! Oh boy! Mm. Oh boy! Do you know how far you have to go? I don't. center of the screen and that's usually a safe be able to get where we need to get to hopefully okay. I wonder if I should try to dive bomb that crack What do you think? Hmm. I don't know if I could actually, I don't know if yeah, I have enough temperature tough. to head it to, to buy my way down there. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Seem to be in a good spot. Yeah. Can't be too much farther. No, it, it can't be. Unless it's something else that triggered it. Red, red. It, it'll kind of give you... I feel like it gives you an indication when you have done the thing you need to do. Mm. Uh, most of the games will have a little pop-out thing. Oh, boy. Gotta thread the needle. Yeah. Oh. Oh, boy. I think you're good. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, it's the second click. All right, I'm actually gonna wreck into the pipe on the, before that crack and yeah. then dive onto it, because I think that that's probably the, the way you do it, because ah. it, it falls sword first. Oh, sure. So you've never hit that thing before? I don't remember. It's been a while. Try that. That crack has to be there for a reason, yeah, right? I'm optimistic. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. You got the thing. Okay. We got the thing. So is that just a shortcut to finishing this? No, I think that is actually how, how you finish, finish it. it. Okay. Uh, all right. So we've wrenched the sword out of Xanthar's Mind Stone, and now we're back here with a sword. Oh, you have the sword. Uh, yeah. So this is why I say play with a gamepad ah. because you can use the right stick to kind of move the sword around at will. Oh, as opposed to the keyboard. As opposed to like, yeah, you can use the bumpers to do as well, or or the buttons on the keyboard. Uh, so the sword is vital. Okay. Uh, it is also. A pain in the ass hmm. because we can't make it through here because the sword oh, is in the way. So shame. you have you kind of have to direct the sword around to be able to move. To be able to move, yeah. Uh, and that ends up being a hassle. But then you can cut those shrubs. Yeah, but then we can cut most of these shrubs and and you know most of the game's walkways were designed with the sword in mind. Ah, what about the gorillas? Yeah, not a problem. Okay. <laughs> sword seems liberating. Yeah. Come at me. All right, killing all the gorillas has opened this up. Now we have the mega sword. That sounds like an even better sword. Yeah. What's better about it? Um, I believe this is the sword that uh, will glow uh, if there is a wall that you can basically chop, like cut through. Okay. Like to find additional doors and stuff like that. That sounds useful. Okay, so now I think we can go back this way because now we can burn this shit. Oh, wait, no, we don't burn it. We cut it. Okay, so we cut that one and it goes. And then what we don't want to cut that one because it'll block us. Cut our way through, uh, burn our way through here, but we don't actually have this key. Oh, we do. Oh, we do have a green key. Right. That is a green door. Man, I wish we could... <sighs> There's a lot of stuff to be found in here for, for yourself, I just, but I just do want to call out, when you step into the room marked the key gen, uh -huh. some awesome fucking key gen style music starts playing. Okay. <laughs> oh, you'll like this. Hmm. Or maybe you'll, you'll hate it. I don't know. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. I see where they're going with this. All right, so uh, which player do we? Uh, what, okay, what's ADC stand for? Oh, mean that th that sounds like a league thing. I'm not sure. Okay, hang on. We need so we need to assign people to top jungle, mid ADC, and support. We've yeah. got these character these players here on our bench uh, with different skill levels uh, and energy. You know, the kind of mana and in game level. Yeah. Um. So let's just assign our highest skill players around here. We'll put. Uh, uh, let's, at, we'll have mid, at mid we'll put Marmalade, gonna, skill 8, that's gonna, pretty good. I'm gonna look that up real fast just to, that might help us out. 
Okay. I feel uh, like I've heard that term before, but I, th- I think it might be unique to league. Uh, qualia will put uh, at, at top. No, we'll put Qualia in support. We want, you know, it's like, why not have a high skill player playing support, right? Oh, it means it's, it's carry. Oh, okay. It's All right. Attack damage carry is what it stands for, but it sounds like it's like, yeah, your, your, your carry, your high damage. Okay. Let's put Maurice in uh, at ADC. In the jungle, we'll put Floor Wax. And at top, we'll put uh, Ignacio. Okay. Uh, hit space to resume. Huh. Okay. And, and so you see uh, the, the players will start to level up and their energy will go down. Um, and we can call three timeouts over the course of this to swap players out. Freezy Frog. Sorry. Uh huh. Go ahead. Switches lanes without signaling, gets pulled over. Oh. Uh, so you see the team effectiveness, they have a higher team, their, their team effectiveness is going up, ours is going down as we are re- losing energy. Did you have any trouble with this the first time? No. Okay. No, uh, you, you definitely can fail these things and have to do them again, but I wonder if maybe some of them were built in a way that made them very hard to fail, yeah. or if I just got lucky. I'm not sure. This one in, in particular, where you're just like making some decisions and then hitting the go button. Yeah, could yeah. Be, could be a real bummer if you just have to sit here and watch yourself lose. Yeah. Oh, so you sub somebody in when... Okay. Oh, our, our, one of our players just quit? Yeah. That's... Man, all right. Uh, okay, so... I guess that's, I wonder if that we get a full, okay, well, we need to put someone in that role, so we'll put that player in. Okay, so this actually kind of is a free timeout also. Uh, We'll swap out our mid. Um, There. 10, 10, 10, 6. Let's swap the support out with uh, Cran Apple. And go. Uh, There's a game like this, but soccer uh, in something else, Hmm. uh, in another game. Uh, Man, all right, we got knocked out. Okay, well, let's uh, in mid we'll put. um, Well, you got most of your energy back. Go there. Uh, we will swap out our top with uh, about that, one. and we'll go. All right, all right, all right. Oh, random Bell Biff DeVoe reference. Always appreciated. Yeah. All right, let's call a timeout. We'll put Marmalade back in, because Marmalade's fully rested. All right. Uh, let's support D. Uh, swap out A. Players are, are getting rested, but we're, we're ahead right now, so I might. Wilmer, three of eight. Which one are you on the effectiveness rating? The second one? I think it's the first one. Oh. Ooh, yeah, this is close. Yeah. It's gonna be a nail biter. All right, so let's take out the top and put that one back in. Let's take that one out and put. That one in. Uh, let's take that one out. And put that one in. And uh, we'll take that one out. Put 
that one in. Come on. He's tanking the Nexus turrets. Oh man. All right, Ooh. we won. There you go. We got the thing. What, what is the thing? Uh, it appeared to be a bomb. Okay, so now we're back. Uh, that portal's gone. Also, all of our items are gone, except what? for a key. And so the candle and the autocorrect skates are just here. Huh. As if to say, there's a, a reason for you to not have... That stuff? That stuff. Um, and also, there seem to Whoa. be bombs everywhere now. Okay. Watch out, bomb. Bomb. Again, death isn't really a yeah. too much of a penalty. Hmm. Also, there's a big arrow pointing to the right. Yeah. I mean, but there's nothing. Yeah, I can't really. I don't have my sword anymore either. Uh, all right. Well, we can go this way. Let's go this way. Uh, this path is blocked off, but we can get in here now. Uh, and it looks like we can get to the right over here through this maze. All right. Gift shop. Hmm. It's only open between six and nine. that in here and get this one and this will be something. A lot of corn lore in this game. Huh. Okay. All right, now we're back here. Uh, oops. I didn't notice the name of this place earlier. That's pretty yeah, good. It's pretty, yeah. good. It's pretty good. All right, let's get through here. Probably won't play too much more of this, because, you know, like I said... It's... Yeah, you don't want to ruin too much of this prize for yeah. people. Uh, I, I ended up really enjoying it, but I also, as I've said, I I think it'll be really divisive. Yeah, it seems uh, to be going that way from what I've seen and some people I know who have played it. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of it will come down to just how you feel about the games it's referencing. Yeah. Okay, so now you see there's a, there's a portal down there that we can get to. Uh, so we'll just look at the next thing and then move on. Trigger era text display. Yeah. The blue gradient. Uh, okay. Alright, alright, okay, alright. Let's, uh. Oh, we. Oh, yeah, okay. Shaving cream. 
close enough. Yeah, look at our razor here. Oh boy. Mm-hmm, okay, all right, well. It's a little bit of a chin strap thing going on yeah. there, but that's sure. probably okay. Uh. some of this shaving cream off. I mean, we could theoretically go back and do some uh, more of this. Two seconds. Close enough. Close enough. Good enough for government work. <laughs> I'm not sure this is referencing any game. <laughs> uh, so this is something or is it? that kind of got put into um, the original Frog Fractions as part of the ARG. Uh, oh, did they add stuff to that thing? At, at some point, this Obama shaving stuff made its way into into something. I don't know if it was directly in that Flash thing. Yeah. Uh, or if it was like a, a separate, I think it might have been a separate download that got linked to as part of as part of the ARG. So was, was um, the ARG, the that whole mystery that's been going on with all these runes being added to different indie games yeah. and stuff, was that that was all part of this? Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, that ended up kind of serving as, as a signpost or through a, through a maze of symbols that uh, led to some other stuff. And I don't know, at one point there was a Luigi Amiibo involved. What? And, yeah, you know, t time travel and kidnapping. Mm -hmm. it's all right. Escape rooms and yeah, the, the ARG did ARG things. Huh. Um, anyway, yeah, I mean, this is this is a but a fraction of Litter Mitten Grove, really. Uh, it it keeps going like this at a pretty rapid clip in some strange directions, in some, in some pretty wild directions okay. uh, that I ended up enjoying quite a bit. There's some some stuff in here that is like a lot more directly referential to uh, educational games, uh, oh. kind of harkening back to what maybe Frog Fractions was in you know in a weird sideways way. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. It's good to know what this is. Yeah. It's good to sit down and, well, actually, now that I mention it, I really don't know what this is. Hang on, let me finish shaving this bomb. Anyway, this game's out now. Yeah. You can go buy it. It sure is. It's on Steam. You sure can. Uh, I enjoyed it, but yeah, I, I, I would not be surprised if there were plenty of people out there who just didn't, did not connect with this material yeah. one bit, yeah. uh, I, but, I, I but could, I connected with damn near all of yeah, it, so. I, I think I could see that. Yeah. I could, I could see why some people wouldn't, but. Shaving one terror is zero, Brad. Okay. The mystery is finally solved. Yeah.